when you originally install Vu, all settings set for the kind of minimum for your machine. Sometimes if you have it more memory or a faster video card, you want to optimize. And the reason why you want to do this, so when you populate with ecosystem or have too many objects, you won't see those kind of blocks all over screen. To do this, you can go to File, Options, and in these areas you can increase the limit of OpenGL polygons and by default you can see right here we set to 1 million and if you know when you work with Vue you have a billions of the polygons so then normally I just add a little bit more so now we have it 100 million minimum and again I know the how much memory I have it as well you also have it maximum usable video memory so in my case, I have it um, two gigabytes, so I have it more memory, and I want to go to increase this to one or four. Again, this is for my system I'm optimizing. Depend on what your system using, how much memory or other things, you can minimize, increase or decrease. I do find that if you assign Vu in Vu is your primary application, you're working at that time half of your video memory will uh, serve very good if you are using combination with Photoshop or other ones you want to decrease to one fourth of your video memory okay next right here we have an ecosystem preview same things what normally I do I increase amount of the instance can be displayed and also you have a minimum display instant in pixels currently set by five you can increase this based on the resolution of your monitor. So, for example, if you see small instance on a back 10 pixels, I think that will be well as well. It does not um, change that much what you see. So I'm just reduce maybe to eight at this point. Next, we have it also refresh rate. Uh, by default, set 10. If you want a little bit higher, it's a 15 frames per second. But this will load it a little bit more on your video card and in some cases you maybe want to decrease it but what is will affect when you rotate or something object is how fast the screen will refresh when you modify it okay other uh, also other things because we modify of maximum display instance we also need to change right here when it's a warning pop-up about many times they still be based on a bit lower and this machine I have it more memory so I want to actually increase more before the warning pop up on my screen and inform me another modification you want to do it is undo redo options as well if you are uh, work first time with Vue, you probably want to increase this this will be um, saving kind of on your hard drive or your memory so you want to be careful don't go crazy but you maybe want to increase a little bit more than just five operations. In my case, I will just keep it as five, as well as notification of the used resources. Okay, till we speak about memory resources, on my computer currently, I'm using primarily drive as SSD, it's solid state. So it's a little bit less capacity that my backup drives, and I don't want to overload them. With these options, the render stocking options, it's very important to modify for this. If we open right here, you can see we have a stock folder and currently it says on my main hard drive, which is SSD. It's performed very fast and properly, but again, I don't want it overload with images because if every application starts saving. So right here, I can go and modify path to other hard drive. Yeah, as example, I set to e render stack as well. You can have a size limit for your stack. Currently, I think it's come with a 256 megabytes, so you can increasing higher depend on how much hard drive you have it. This is quite a bit large size, so I don't I increase quite a bit. As well, you can have it in options, which one you want to increase and stack. I do stack gbuffer multipass because sometimes I want to go back and compare them with my currently render. So this is another optimization that will go with your hard drive and help speed up a little bit load. 
again um speed uh, it's this option's not necessarily speed up speed up because you will go to slower your hard drive but it does reduce amount of use of your ssd drive if you have it primarily if you're using the normal hard drive and you have plenty of the space on your main c drive you don't need to worry about this option this is mostly work very well if you're using ssd drives